I love it. Love? I love it. Wow. I'll tell you why I love it. Because I think the positives outweigh the negatives. Yo, 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 yo. We got the little boys, why guys? Check out the full podcast. Link below. Is AI good for hip hop? Mm. Wow. When Drake's diss, the push ups diss came out, the first response everybody had was, Is this AI? <laughs> is this AI? And me too. I was like, yo, is this AI? But then I, what did I text you? Once I listened to it, I said, yo, that sounds like Drake. That's his swagger. That's his confidence. That's his, you know, You're just push-ups, demeanor. By the way. Push-ups, yeah, yeah, push-ups. That's his demeanor. That's his, d- his dad's Drake. Took a while. Took a little bit. Took a little bit. And then academics, speaking of the devil, academics confirmed it, gave us the CD quality. Boom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Since then... You can argue this isn't Drake versus Kendrick Lamar. This is AI versus AI. Mm. We've been seeing it. AI disses by Drake. AI disses by Kendrick. Mm. AI reference tracks. Can you believe that? So they said the jumble trump uh drumble popping jumble trump jumble, 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 jumble trump shit popping. Yeah, yeah, they said that's real. But then there was another one that came out, and they said it was AI. The little Yachty version. <laughs> yeah, the Cash Cobain. There was another song that came oh, out, okay, okay, yeah. and they were like, Drake, look, another one. You know, like, it was actually Cash Cobain. They mm. they said Cash Cobain, but he came out and said it was AI. So, in one sense, it's ridiculous. I don't know what's real. It's now every single time. You know, I need a confirmation from like somebody's label to tell me that a song is real. Yeah. But in another sense, what Drake was able to do with Taylor Made Freestyle, I think was pretty damn cool. Like, you know, getting to the Tupac's voice, hearing Tupac's voice again and hearing him rap with Drake, that was pretty cool. So Very there clever. is pluses and minuses to AI in the hip hop game. Is there more pluses than minuses though? Or is there more minuses than pluses? We got to deal with AI, okay? Like, let's 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 establish one thing. Anybody who thinks that AI is going away and we need to do away with it, you're mistaken. Like, it's here. You gotta you gotta just rock with it. You have to figure it out. Don't be one of these people that's living in the past and and yeah. and, and, and and think that it don't exist. No, if you want to excel in life, you're probably gonna have to interact with AI at Very some true. point in the future. I love it. Love? I love it. Wow. I tell you why I love it. Because I think the positives outweigh the negatives. Right? Now, I think I think the negatives that exist are things like, you know, not knowing, obviously, if it's valid, right? If it's a real song. That's a big problem. So, until we figure out a way as a culture, as a society, to see what is truly, like, watermarked or what is not real... This is going to be a, a big problem, but I love it though, man, because listen, there was a, there was a video that popped up and it was the guy who created the, the Kendrick Lamar, um, mm-hmm, this, mm-hmm. that everybody mm-hmm. thought, thought was Kendrick, was but it was really mm-hmm. AI. He basically came out and claimed, yo, I'm the one who made it. This is how I made it. Mm-hmm. We had a whole TikTok video. It was kind of fire, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, you could argue that's exactly what Drake did in this new Taylor May freestyle, like the same way he did it. Wrapped it in the perspective of Tupac, wrapped it in perspective of, of Snoop Dogg, but then added the AI filter on top. I just feel like the possibilities of AI is so endless that I think there's more positives that outweigh the negatives. And I, to me, the positives is the creativity aspect. Mm-hmm. Look at what Drake did. Yeah. Like, l- can you imagine somebody who's a ghostwriter or somebody who's a creative, a writer, pitching songs to other people, mm-hmm. right? Let's say I'm a ghostwriter and I'm like, all right, I want to make a song for Beyonce. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to sing a song, how Beyonce will sing it, mm-hmm. add the AI filter on top. Mm-hmm. Beyonce's going to hear it back and completely understand how this song is supposed to go. I just think it helps out music as a whole. Now, I get that it sucks. We got to deal with the bull- the BS that comes with it. Like, I didn't like the fact that, that that Kendrick song dropped. And I legit thought it was real. Matter of fact, it was so bad that... Daylight from T or TDE affiliate mm-hmm, had mm-hmm. to be like it's hundred percent AI, mm-hmm. but I'm like, is is it, are they copying? Are they are they mad that the reception was bad? Is that the reason why they say it was I AI? Too. Like I was like, my mind my mind started going in that direction. Like, but that was I don't the like the fact that my mind is, has seen. to even yeah. consider this. It's first. It's what you say first now. Yeah, is so, this AI? Yeah, so that's well, my, I mean, that's but, my biggest problem with it. But what, what do you think? I mean, but this is an issue. It's a problem because the way that 
Drake rolled out push-ups. It was like a leak, unofficial leak, showed up on Twitter, wasn't on streaming services. So that's what's going to debunk anything that's AI is. If it shows up on that artist's page, you know, it, more than likely they made the song. You know, you just can't put a, a AI Kendrick Lamar song on his artist page well, on Spotify. Well, well, I think we're we're actually going mm-hmm. to that point in music where mm-hmm. like you artists might have to just start claiming everything. That's mm-hmm. the only mm-hmm. way that we yeah. as a culture are gonna know mm-hmm. what's real and what's not. I think it sucks for fans, mm-hmm. but uh, from an artist standpoint, it keeps your name alive. Like Kendrick Lamar's name, without even doing anything, is alive because of the beef. But then also they come up with all these AI. Oh, is this real? Some people are thinking it's real. Like it keeps your name alive. It, less work for the artists a lot of times. But as I say, even from not only just music, but from a work standpoint, like mm-hmm. whether you're in IT, whether you're in business, whatever, use it the right way. So I can see benefits of using AI to, you know, help out with just little things like, you know, oh, grammar, mm-hmm. you know, check check to see is this bar is this punchline accurate yeah, like, yeah did this really happen like you know uh oh what was the name of what was the name of e40 and uh be legit's group oh yeah check the ai double check that for you you know what i'm saying right, so right. i i can use it as a proofreading yeah stuff like that as an assist like as a, an like assist an assistant, like i a i fully believe in yeah. using it that way correct but we all know there's going to be artists that just flat out, ah, man, I don't feel like working today. I feel like going to the club. Hey, man, just throw together some AI, put my voice on there. I'll approve it. How many artists are we going to get in the near future where it's not them that actually made the song? It was AI. You can conf- they, they'll be, they can confirm it. They'll just be like, no, I confirm. This is the song. This is me when it really is AI. That is absolutely going to happen. It, it will happen. And musicians will get a chance to be lazy. That's why I, I'm just kind of like, from a fan's perspective, from a music mm. fan's perspective, I think it sucks because it, it allows people to be lazy. But then from a artist standpoint, it, it might make getting money very easy for them. Listen. Kendrick Lamar can sit in his house right now and tell... Um, <laughs> Uh, a Trevor uh-huh. to go write him some raps, put it right. in AI, and that rap, that that song can get tens of millions of streams. He's just making money easily. And, so and, and and it's so funny. Last thing I'll say, because uh, it's ironic you even just said that, because that actually feeds into our next topic mm-hmm. about ghostwriting, which we'll get into in a few. But man, I just think that uh, just like everything else, when when something impacts the work when, when a, a new tool uh, something that's groundbreaking hits the universe hits the people there's always going to be people using it for good and using it for bad i mean yep. you could yep. you you can yep. literally use any example look at social media social media on itself as a tool is amazing yep the ability to connect with people all around the world the ability to reach people you know, contact fans, right? Engage with people, sh- exchange mm-hmm. ideas. Mm-hmm. There's something very powerful mm-hmm. in a good way about sure. social media. For sure. But of course, we all tend to look abuse. at the negative we side abuse. of social media because people use it for bad. Naturally. You know what I'm saying? Our so hum- is it social media that's the problem or is it the people? Our, na- it's the people. Naturally, we just are known to abuse things. Right. You know, like. And I think people are going to do that with AI. It's funny, that's like alcohol, right? To. Everybody's like, alcohol is so bad, right? Alcohol is so bad. Well, because you're drinking nine in, in a span of like, you're drinking nine drinks in a span of three hours. Of course, if you drink nine sodas in a span of three hours, you know you'll be dead. <laughs> My point being, we abuse things. That's true. That's true. <laughs> it was just our natural instinct. That's true. Listen to the full episode. Link below.